Hi all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well. First of all, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing. You can follow me on other platforms as well. The link is there in the description itself. So let's get started with today's problem. So the problem is car fleet. So there are n cars going to the same destination along a lane road, along a one lane road. The destination is target miles away. Right, you are given two integer array, one is position and another one is speed. So both are of length n, where position i is the position of the ith car and speed i is the speed of ith car in miles per hour. Right, a car can never pass another car ahead of it. Means see, two cars are moving. Right, there is one car that is moving and another car. So the car which is with a slower speed and let's say they it, it came or it matches the speed of the car which was ahead of it it cannot uh, so they are saying it can never pass means it is not going to move beyond it right it can never pass it can not pass it can never pass car ahead of it but it can catch up to it it will match the speed it will match the speed they will meet kind of thing you can understand and drive bumper to bumper at the same speed okay the faster car will slow down to match the slower car's speed the distance between these two cars is ignored that is they are assumed to have the same position right so see when, when they met when they met after this what will happen they will you know they'll be moving with the same speed that's what they are saying the faster car will slow down to match the slower car speeds and the distance between these two cars is going to be ignored right they are going there it is supposed that they are going to have the same position now a car fleet is some non empty set of cars which are driving at the same position and same speed note that a single car is also a car fleet if a car catches up to a car fleet right at the destination point it will still be considered one car fleet so return the number of car fleets that will arrive at the destination okay and by car fleet what you're understanding again i'm just repeating it it is a set okay it is some non-empty set of cars which are driving at the same position and same speed right so for example if you will see here so target is 12 position is 10 8 0 5 3 speed so we have been given two arrays obviously position and speed two arrays we do have where they have clearly specified the position is the position of the ith car and the speed is the speed of that ith car right and the target is our destination point that has been given to us so the car is starting at 10 right so in, in here the car is starting at 10 is having the speed 2 and and 8 the car is starting at 8 is having the speed 4 so they will become a fleet because see they will they will meet at each other at 12 so at a specific point okay even if the, this point is target they are meeting no they are meeting so they will they will form a they will form a fleet then the car is starting at zero does not catch up to any other car right this because it is starting from the initial point itself and they have clearly specified here they have clearly specified somewhere that um, Somewhere they have said that the car will slow down. A car can never, okay. The car fleet is something. Yeah, that a single car, right? It's not needed that you should have, you know, a pair or multiple cars like that. A single car itself is also a car fleet. So here you can see the car starting at zero does not catch up to any other car. So it is a fleet by itself. Then the car is starting at five, speed one, and the car is starting at three, speed three. This this again became a fleet because they they will meet each other at six. Okay, so the fleet moves um, at speed one until it reaches target. Note that no other cars meet these fleets before the destination. So the answer is three. So the here, uh, see three fleets we were able to form, right? So that's why three has been returned. Here, if you will see the target is 10, position is three, speed is three. So there is only one car, hence there is only one fleet. Similarly, here also you will check, right? So the here for here, the output is one. So I hope the problem statement is clear. You can go through the constraints as well as this is important. The position are going to be all the values of position are going to be unique. They have given the you know values, the limits for n target and the 
arrays provided to us, right? So now we will understand that how we will approach this particular problem. So here for this particular test case, our target is 12 position and speed been given to us. So here, if you will see, we uh, let me mention the position. 10, 8, 0, 5, 3. Right. And the speed, respective speed are 2, 4, 1, 1, 3. Right now we are talking about the fleet. Fleet means that you know a set of uh, a set of cars. We can say that who, who are matching the same speed, right? Or even if a unique uh, a single car itself can can form a fleet, right? If it is not able to match, you know, uh, any other car speed or position like that. So if let's say we are talking about this one, target is twelve. So if I am asking you, okay, how long it will take to reach the target? So we are having the position, right? We are having the target. So we can de uh, determine the time. Position is 10, right? And this is the speed given to us. So target is 12. So 12 minus 10 divided by 2. So one unit of time, we can say. Then for this one, 12 minus 8, 4. 4 divided by 4, one unit of time again. Then 12 minus 0 divided by 1, we will have 12. Then 12 minus 5, 7 divided by 1, we will have 7. Then 12 minus 3, we will have 9. And 9 divided by 3, we will have 3. Right? So here you can see when, see when two cars will meet. When, when two cars will meet. If a car is moving ahead and other car is, you know, uh, its position is before that car. So somehow if its speed is greater or like that, right? Then only it will able to, uh, it will able to meet other car right which is ahead of it and then the speed of both the car is going to be the same you got you got this point right so what we can do is that uh, we know that the car the obviously the probability to reach the destination of which car is more the chances of which car is more to reach the destination the car which is at the which is close to the which is close to the target right so first thing what we can do is that we will sort uh, we will sort our position we will sort our position in ascending order right so on sorting what we will get 10 8 5 3 0 respected uh, respective time let me mention so with 10 we have 1 with 8 we have 1 with 5 we have 7 with 3 we have 3 right and with zero we have 12 means this is a unit of time that these cars will take to reach the destination so uh, the car having at position 10 will reach a destination in one unit of time similarly the car at uh, position 8 will also reach at one unit of time means these cars these cars sorry these cars will definitely meet they will meet right so they can be considered in one fleet right then we have then we have then we have this car, which is which will which will take seven unit of time. So is there a possibility that it will meet? Like now you can consider this as a group only, right? Because now the speed of this car is same only. So is there a possibility that this car uh, taking seven unit of time will meet this car? No, no, right? So we can say this car is having its own separate fleet, right? So here, if you will see, this car is having its separate fleet. Now I'm talking about this car. So this will reach in seven unit of time and this car position uh, three will reach in three unit of time means at some point of time at some point of time this this car will meet this 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 one car right this is for sure see it, it will reach in seven unit of time it will reach to the destination in seven unit of time and it will reach in th three unit of time so at at a particular instance, this is for sure that this car is going to meet uh, this car at position five. Hope you are getting my point, right? So, so what we can say, what we can say, what we can say at at position six. Okay, at position six, this these two cars are going to meet. These two cars are going to meet. So then the speed of both these cars are going to be the same. So they will also they will also come in one fleet, 
they will also come in one fleet right now comes this car so is there a possibility that this car you know these cars are in a, in a fleet so this this car uh, at position 0 having like will take 12 minute of time to reach the destination will meet these cars no right no so it it will have its own fleet so overall three fleets we have right so this is this was a sort of you know uh, a thought process for this particular problem now how we can decide so we are we are having our position sorted in descending order we are having the time also so on the basis of time so once you have seen this time so now you can you can do the comparison so the 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 next time associated with a car that you are going to see if this time is what is greater than than that of the time which the previous car which was taken if it is greater means means the current current car is not going to meet your previous car right because it it is taking more time the unit of time is more so so this car will have its own fleet like that you can understand right so yeah this is the complete concept this is the complete logic for solving this particular problem now let's have a look on the code part and discuss further so that you can get much better understanding right so here uh, here you can see that first uh, we do have the length of our position array then this one fleet see at least one fleet is going to be there right so that's why resultant uh, is initialized with one this res is basically the count of fleet the number of fleets that we are going to return and this is our car array right so now you can you can do this by using uh, you know um, 2d array also right that you are storing position as well as time together right here i have taken this class car which is having two parameters position and time right so position of the car and the time associated uh, time basically your car is taking to reach to the destination the same thing that actually we discussed right so we are having the array basically so here what we have done is that you know that there will be n entries about the same n entries right so each c of i we have initialized with that position of i and uh, see so here time we are going to take as a double value because let's say a uh, some car is reaching to a specific point in 0.5 hour let me say in this way and some is reaching uh 1.5 hours so we have to because we need the exact timing if it will be able to match or not right if, even if there's, there's a point difference so our result will change right so that's why we are taking this as a double value and the calculation for the timing is the same that we discussed target minus position of i divided by speed of i now we are sorting our like the entries that we got right so we are sorting it on the basis of the position position in the descending order right as discussed right so now the previous time that we have seen for example uh, here let's say okay as of now th this is written right from this is descending in descending how we'll be having the position 10 8 5 3 0 right so uh, the first car will reach in one unit of second so that's what we have stored in prior time so it will it will be having the value 1 now or 1.0 you can say for int i equal to 1 i less than n so we are checking that if c of i right now c of i dot time which is going to give you what this one so if it is greater than that of the previous time that we have seen if it is greater means it will not be able to um you know reach or to match to that car right so it means it will have its own fleet so we will do res plus plus and we will update the previous time with c of i dot time but as of now what is the time one so one greater than one no right so this together is forming one fleet so no update will take place now we will reach to this seven so seven is greater than that of one right seven is greater than that of one so we will obviously increment the value of res and prev time we will update with seven right next we will be having three so three is lesser than that of seven right so means at at some point at some point Three will be like, see. So for like, if if for this example, if this um, scenario we are talking about, so three will be able to meet 
to this car at six, right? At six, it will be able to meet. Meet, sorry, right? So, uh, they will come under one fee. So, no update. Next, we'll be having twelve. So, obviously, twelve is greater than that of seven, right? Twelve would be greater than that of seven. So, we see these. This comes under one fee. So, we are considering them on the speed as one only because it has been given that if a car matches the speed of another car then they will move with the same speed so let's take it as like we are taking it as okay seven with seven now this car will also move or like that so 12 is greater right so it, it will have its own feed so again resultant value is going to be updated so overall we'll get three and at the end three will be returned right so yeah that was the code the approach for solving this particular problem so that's it for my side thank you so much for watching we will uh, discuss another problem tomorrow. Bye-bye.